Alright, let's get this out of the way. Yes, I'm filming on a futon, but I don't really have anywhere else to film because we're going to be going through some big stuff today. So let's get it out. I got this. It's a cardboard roll for... There's going to be a cat in this video for sure. And then in here, we have two things. Definitely don't cut downward on that one. I like how much care that they put into wrapping this up. We have two things here, but they're kind of rolled together, so I'm just going to try to unroll both of them at the same time. Let's do it this way so you can also kind of see. Bam! Look at that. This is going to be the 24 by 36 print. This one is a photo of the Hatteras Lighthouse out in North Carolina. It's amazing how much detail is in it. It looks really good. And let's show off the other one as well. This one we've got a super dusty lens. But this is somewhere around Traverse City up in northern Michigan. Let's flatten this down so you can see it a little bit better with that light. That's just a a little looking glass at another lighthouse. So these are just really two cool travel prints that I wanted to print out to check the quality of the 24 by 36s They finally came in, very excited, but you're not just gonna take this and throw it on your wall. So I've also ordered a frame of Amazon, super cheap. Uh, it's got some random stock photo in there of uh, I think a building in New York. There's no way you can see this. <clears throat> just a stock photo of New York, but we're gonna get rid of that and put in one of these really amazing photos from me Let's get these kind of flattening out over on the side here While we set up the frame Again, you can see on the back of all of these prints It's got the professional paper labeled on the back so you can tell that it is a very high quality paper uh, because I'm trying to offer something, you know, that'll last and not just kind of disappear and <laughs> get destroyed really quickly. So here's the frame again. Let's lay this down. Uh, it's going to come with a little bit of this, uh, this hanging wire. I'm not sure how to get this sorted in a moment. But first we're going to take out that old shitty paper print or whatever that's in there already. So to do that, you've got these little riveted sliders and you just turn those and once they're all turned you can just pull this guy off I think it's called the back plate or something along those lines no idea though it's a piece of cardboard or whatever and then you have that actual photo if you want to keep it it's on like a poster paper almost you can if you would like. I'm going to toss it. It's just a, a placeholder for your work or whatever you're going to put in the frame. You're going to want to clean this glass or plexiglass or whatever you want to, whatever frame you do end up going with. This is usually pretty dirty. I'm going to grab some Windex, clean that up, and then put our picture in there. Careful not to touch that. Ooh, that made a cool sound. All right. So when you're mounting this, if you're doing vertical, make sure that these hangers are facing upwards or whichever one has the most height away from the bottom. So this distance is more than this distance. So this is gonna be pointing up. So same with this side, that guy points up. Then we will grab whatever's on top here. Put it on. Yeah. Fits oh, like a glove. Once you put the print in, you can replace the backboard. And then to finish up, putting the picture in, we just move all of these little tab guys over to lock this back plate or whatever it's called back in and the picture won't fall out. That looks good, I should probably show you. 
I should probably tell you how to do the framing bit in the back here. So, this framing wire. So essentially, you just wire it through. If you're going to do vertical, which is how it is right now, uh, there's these vertical hangers. Kind of nice that they hide them. And then if you're going to do a horizontal, there's these two, which you should be able to see. So cat. Here's the little preview of the instructions here. All right, I'm gonna try to work around the camera here. I'll show you how this knot is tied. You feed one end through that thing. You wanna leave enough so that you can wrap that shorter end around and then back through. It's going to look kind of like a pretzel here. If you can see that. And then this end's gonna go off to the other side. And then you just tighten this guy down. It takes a little bit of force. Just like that. And then you wrap this guy just around like this. So you're just wrapping that short end around the longer end. Honestly, you don't have to wrap the whole thing. So this is gonna be the right side of the frame. If we grab this wire from the other side. So you string it through the top. Come on, the top. Wrap it around. And then stick it back through. So that's your pretzel shape again. So for this side, if this is your second photo and you're gonna be hanging these up next to each other, you'll see when I do get these up, you kind of want the same amount of slack in this hanging wire in both photos so that they hang down the same amount. So we'll throw the other one in and then we'll do a video of how I've got these hanging up. I'm not gonna cover actually putting like the mounting hardware directly into the wall. It can be as simple as a nail or as complex as putting a drywall anchor in, although that's not really that complex. If you need help with that, there's millions of YouTube videos on how to do that. My whole thing is getting these things on the wall. Uh, and if you, if you notice, <laughs> these things are not straight. So if you just put them up on your wall and you think you're done, you're wrong. So I've got a couple of things to help. This tool is from Ikea. It's just a bubble level. You can also get super small ones for a couple of cents. Don't know where I got this one, but you can also use it. It works just the same. So I'm going to use this bubble level. Essentially, you want to get that bubble right in the center. And to do that with this wire technique, all you have to do, be careful, <laughs> you don't pull it off the wall, but you just move it slightly until it's level. I don't know if that's level. We can check the verticulars on this one. It's pretty close, but it has a little bit to go. So with a bubble level, you don't have to go all the way to the top. You can just line it up with the bottom or even the side. Perfect. Let's just go through the leveling process here. <clears throat> that bubble is on the left side, which means the left side is too high. So we're going to have to move it left. If you've never done this before, here's a diagram of what it would look like to see through whatever you're framing so that you'd be able to see the nail in the back and then that hanging wire and where it was positioned in relation to the actual frame as well as a little bubble level. So the one on the left, the left side is too high, so you'd need to move the entire thing to the left to balance out that hanging wire. And on the right, you can see that the right side's too high, so you would need to move it right to balance that out. There we go, right dead center, that's level. And here you see the final product. Both prints hanging up on the wall, framed economically with the money going into the important parts, which is the prints, not necessarily the frame. Obviously the frame isn't gonna be as quality as if you had got it done professionally, but nobody's gonna notice how uh, expensive your frame is unless 
your friend or whoever's looking at it is like a, a museum aficionado or whatever so i think this looks great and i'm really really excited about the print quality of these massive photos let's just take a second to zoom in a lot as if you were <laughs> using almost a magnifying glass on it this is the print with that looking glass type thing and that i guess there's a little bit of glare but it just looks absolutely stunning and it's <laughs> it's huge <laughs> like you're able to see each individual sand to grass or whatever you want to call that blade and similarly here for this lighthouse you can see the whole thing obviously there's gonna be a little bit of glare but you can see the actual bands of the layer of the lighthouse which is just mind-blowing like it's it's the quality is is amazing even on a massive print like this this technique will work with any sized frame so if you do this with a smaller frame you can do this anything with four by six to you know 12 by 18 or any size really as long as you get a frame for that size the process might be a little different but it should be very very similar thank you again for watching and make sure to check out the shop over at shop.psych.media and don't forget to subscribe to see the rest of the ideas i have for what you can do with these prints